um, I had a call from Jack Taylor, a North Country impresario. He wanted me to do the summer scene for him at the Opera House Blackpool, the newest and biggest theatre in the country. He wanted Dickie Murdoch as well, and he discussed the matter with Jack Hilton, as he wanted to call the show Blackpool's Own Bandwagon. Hilton had a confidential chat with me and said, you will find Jack Taylor a most amusing and genial fella, till you work for him. He also said he'd heard that Taylor had booked Frank Randall for the proposed summer show. Now, Randall was a tremendous favourite with the Blackpool audiences, deservedly so, but he was a well-known eccentric. Hilton said, if he's in the show, you won't live with him. He'll wipe the floor with you on his own ground. Hardly an encouraging comment, but blunt and to the point. Anyway, I met Taylor at the Queen's Hotel. We had a meal together, and sure enough, he had me in stitches with his tales of Frank Randall and Dave Morris and Albert Modley and all those great North Country comics. Eventually, I said to him bluntly, Listen, have you booked Frank Randall? And when he said he had, I said, Well, you'd better count me out. Jack Hilton's told me I wouldn't survive in the show with Randall. Oh, you needn't worry about that, said Taylor. If you don't want him on the bill with you, I can put him in one of my other shows, either on the South Pier or send him on tour with one of my reviews. So all was signed and sealed. I was to appear at the Opera House for the summer at a salary of £350 a week. Well, at rehearsals, I began to see the real Jack Taylor, a real martinet and not a very pleasant one at that. He used to keep us at it until the small hours of the morning. There were no equity rules to save us in those days. But Jack Taylor's solution to the Randall problem wasn't as easy as he thought. Frank had a contract for the Opera House, and it was the Opera House he'd play and nowhere else. So Taylor had to pay him about £150 a week for doing nothing. To make matters worse, Randall used to stand by the stage door every night with a bottle of stout in his hand in order to irritate Taylor. <laughs> 